Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So, and today we'll be talking about a brand new feature that Premiere Pro has just released. And this feature is going to save you so much time when you're trying to remix your audio in your videos. So welcome back to another video. My name is Mario So. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I create weekly content on filmmaking and all of that fun stuff. If that's something you think you'll be into, hit that subscribe button to be in the know of future content. If you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here yet again. So this brand new feature was released in Adobe Max just last week, and it's technically not a new feature in the Adobe ecosystem since it was already in Adobe Audition. And I have a video that I made about how you could do this in Adobe Audition, which I'll link in the description below if you want to check that out. But now we have this feature directly built in in Premiere Pro, which is such a huge time saver. Let me first pose the question that we normally encounter as video editors. So you may have a clip or a video sequence that needs to be matched to music, but the problem is that most of the time the music cannot perfectly match that video clip. So you either have to cut your song at an awkward point and it just sounds weird, or you have to go and manually trim and cut different pieces of the music to make it match your video sequence. What happens other times too is that when you try to cut a song to the length of your video, the song ends up being cut at a weird point. Maybe the way the song is cut, it just ends up being abrupt and very awkward. So like I said, I was before going into Adobe Audition to do this, but now it's directly built in in Premiere Pro. So at the time of the making of this video, because this is a brand new feature, you have to download Adobe Beta to your computer first to be able to access it before it gets widely released. In order to get the beta version, go to Creative Cloud and then go to Beta and download the latest beta version. You can then open your project that contains your video sequence. For me, I have this video sequence shot on the iPhone 13 Pro mixed with some footage shot on the Sony a7S III. And if you haven't watched that video comparing the video quality of the iPhone 13 Pro versus that of the Sony a7S III, you can watch it right here or I'll link it in the description below. I'll import these two tracks which I have from Artlist, which is a royalty-free music platform that you can use for your videos. I have links in the description below too if you wanna get two months for free. So once I have all my media and projects set up, I'll go up into Window, go into Essential Sound. Once that's open, I'll go into Music and select Remix and select the target duration that you want or that matches your video sequence. So let's go and adjust that target duration. And once you do that, you let Premiere Pro do its thing. And after Premiere Pro is done, you'll see your new audio clip, which now has a few Vs or lines in between the track. And these are the cuts that Premiere Pro has automatically generated to hopefully seamlessly blend the music together. So let's take a listen to this song first and see if you can spot these cuts that Premiere Pro has done. So it actually sounds pretty good and I wasn't able to tell any of the cuts. This piece was actually very seamless to me. Let's bring another song and let's try to do the same thing and let's see whether Premiere Pro can do a good job with this track as well. So again, going into Essential Sound, going into Music, make sure to select Remix and then adjust the length to the length of your video sequence. So let's wait for Premiere Pro to do its thing. Here is the Remix clip now and let's take a listen again to see if we can notice any of these cuts. Been thinking about you So once again, Premiere Pro did a really good job at seamlessly cutting this audio track and now it can stand alone as its own little musical sequence with a beginning, middle, and an end. And this is just going to make your video better without having those weird cuts. You can also fine tune your remix as well and Premiere Pro gives you a few parameters to do that. So if you decrease the length of the edit, Premiere Pro is actually increasing the number of edit points in your audio clip. And the opposite is done if you increase the edit length. With the features bar, what happens is you drag down the slider to timber if your song has less instruments. But if your song has a, a lot of instruments, it's a little bit more complex, you want to drag the slider up to harmonics. So far in most of my tests, Premiere Pro has done a really good job on the first try. So I wouldn't 
play around too much with these. I would only play around with these parameters if Premiere Pro was messing up on the edit the first try. That being said though, if you wanted to fine tune your remix even further, there are a little bit more features in Adobe Audition that you can use. You can adjust the duration of the remix to an exact time. That being said though, it's such a time saver that Adobe Premiere Pro is finally including this feature directly in Premiere without having you to round trip into Adobe Audition and then having to come back. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. If you learned something new, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think about this new feature. Do you think you'll be using this a lot in Premiere Pro? Let me know below. So that's it for today, and if you're still watching, here are a couple of videos you could watch next, and I'll see you next time.